How do? Time for another review. Uh, apologies for the piss poor lighting. Um, I'm on holiday in Tenerife in Los Gigantes. I was here about a year ago. I did a few reviews then. I'm still in that mindset where I can't really be asked to do any reviews. But I saw this. Well, Mrs. B saw this and she said I had to review it. So it's kind of like an impromptu Friday challenge, even though it's not Friday and I'm filming this on Sunday. Um, so yeah, Los Gigantes, just talking about the beer scene here, it's very macro orientated, although since I was last here, there seems to be a few more Belgian beers in the bars. So that is improving there. The shops and the supermarkets are getting worse. Um, very, very average to poor, if I'm brutally honest. Although, if you are willing to get on a bus and go to a, a Deji, which is about 40, 45 minutes on a bus, there is a there's a shop in the Siam Mall next to the Siam Park Water Park, and there was a few local craft beers in there, and I was they were all right what I've had, and I also managed to get on a bus to Los Cristianos, which is about an hour, an hour and a half away. And um, I went to a little place called Ned uh, Brewery and I went to a place called um, Vault Bar Tenerife. So I did manage to pick up some decent beers. So it hasn't been a complete bad journey, but beer wise, it's not as good as it was 12 months ago in Los Gigantes Direct. So this is Salitos Blue. Um, it says it's 5% and it just says it's imported blue. Um, 500 mil can. I'm thinking it's gonna be a little bit like Blue Wicked, or I'm hoping it's gonna be like Blue Wicked. So, um, for those who have watched my Friday challenges in the past, you will know I like those kind of drinks. Um, I'm using a, bo a bonus bay brewing plastic glass, so apologies for the shocking glassware. The brewery is fantastic, but I just bring a plastic cup with me while I go on holiday and um, apologies for the dog shit lighting. I am in my hotel room and it is pouring like Blue Wicked. Fantastic. Yep. It's hissing at me like mad. Um, it's got steady flow of bubbles going in it. It's got a, it's got, it looks like a gray head, I'm gonna say, and then it's got that electric blue color that you associate with Blue Wicked. Let's get the nose. And it smells like a muted blue wicked. That blue uh, hush, uh, slush puppy uh, flavor, uh, aroma, sorry. That like blue raspberry, it just slightly dialed down. It's just not as intense. And as I'm smelling it more, it's fading. Um, I'm picking up nothing. Right, let's dive in, cheers. And it, and it does. It reminds me of Blue Wicked. Um, it's got a similar flavour. It's just not as pronounced. It tastes like it's watered down. Um, it's like a dilute version of Blue Wicked. Um, but it's got a little bit of a kick to it. So ABV wise, it feels like it's stronger than Blue Wicked. As I've said when I've done Blue Wicked on the channel, you know, it's like drinking pop. This does feel like I'm drinking pop, but it's still got that, it's got a slight kick to it. Just the flavoring is pronounced. And the flavor dies down as well quick. If I'm honest, I prefer Blue Wicked. It's that blue raspberry slush puppy flavor. Um, it's just dialed down. Um, yeah, I prefer Blue Wicked. Um, it was one to, it's a good one to try on holiday, um, but I wouldn't be in a rush to have it again. So that is Blue Salitos. Um, thank you for watching and on to the next one. Cheers.